this morning did not start out too well. Uh, I've been trying to get to my next ramen shop and I've managed to go the wrong direction a couple times, but I think I've got to figure it out now. I think. This ramen shop that I'm headed towards is called Tomita and it's a really famous ramen shop not only because they make great sukemen yeah I'm going to eat some more sukemen I love sukemen but there is also a documentary that they made about him called Ramen Heads Definitely worth a watch really goes in detail what it takes to make amazing ramen and uh, it's also partially the reason why I came here. Here it is, I recognize this. Closed. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh. They're closed today for some reason. They usually only close on Wednesday. This Wednesday? Wednesday. The Tuesday, closed. It's freaking closed. They don't, they usually close on Wednesdays. But they're closed today for some reason. What the hell? Oh my gosh. That sucks. This is horrible. This is so, so bad. I, I don't know what I'm going to do now. There we go. Oh, that looks beautiful. <laughs> mm. Yes. All right, first slurp. <laughs> oh. This one has a stronger yuboshi flavor, which for the uninitiated means that it's it's a little fishier. These uh, the dried fish that they use as what gives it the umami flavor. This is just spectacular. Maybe not as tasty for those of you out there that don't like fishy flavors, because it is it's fishy. But I love it. I'm Cambodian, so fish sauce, uh -huh. it's right down my alley here. Look, meatballs. Yeah, meatballs. I was kind of bummed out that I didn't get to eat at the ramen shop that I literally came to Japan for, but Menya Ito, totally worth it to buy here just for that bowl. I guess this is Shibuya Crossing. Look at all these people in the streets. Where are they all going? I think people come here just to cross this street or to film it. I saw like six people filming. Actually, everybody's filming this. I'm not the only one. I booked another Millennials Hotel out here in Shibuya. Just because I really liked the last one and I figured that'd be a great way to spend my last day just relaxing in a nice comfy bed and uh, you know I'm living it up YOLO Cheers to 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 Cheers Alright, um, welcome to Shibuya. The reason why I came here is specifically to stay at the Millennials Hotel and do another hotel review. Also, to do some shopping. This is where I'm headed now. I'm trying to find this uh, super mega discount store called Don Quixote.
Welcome to Don Quixote Mega Donkey Superstore where you can buy all the Japanese things. First order of business, finding a bag because I'm gonna need a way to haul all the junk that I buy back home. Alright, I just found my level. It's full of bags up here. Like any kind of bag you can even imagine. Look at this. We've got all sorts of hard luggage. Tons of hard luggage. We got small bags, we got big bags, we got medium sized bags, we got every single bag you can imagine. Oh my goodness. I'm having brain overload here. There's so many bags. It's like running into it. This one's made of carbon fiber. Bingo! I got myself a new roller spinner luggage. It's actually a really good setup for me because I have my Peak Design backpack, which I would carry all my electronics, and then I could just stick my clothes in here. I could just stick my clothes on here, and then mount my backpack on that and then I can just roll it through the airport and then you know I have one purse on and one carry-on like that. It also doubles as luggage that I can use when I'm on the job because it's hard and I can stick my cameras in there and not worry about it banging around. Yeah I'm easily using this so now time to look for some trinkets to take home with me. Actually what I'm gonna do is head back to the hotel quick drop off this camera and this new piece of luggage so I can travel a little lighter. I think I'm gonna be in here for a while. It's the next day now. I purchased a bunch of things at the donkey shop including a piece of luggage for myself which I filled with a bunch of snacks for my daughters. And now I gotta go find a special store. It's actually a fragrance store. My friend Brad, who gave me a ride to the airport, uh, requested that I go find these air fresheners for him. Like, these air fresheners are special. The only problem is I have no more cell service. My data, my Wi-Fi shut down last night at midnight. So I'm kind of blind. But I did use the Millennials Wi-Fi and took a bunch of screenshots of where I need to go. Hopefully I don't get lost. I just have to remember that I'm near Hotel Koi, like directly across from TGI Fridays. Well, good news, the GPS does appear to be working. It does look like it's turning as I'm spinning my, my direction around. I was doing a little research last night and apparently Shibuya is known for its little boutique shops. I can see why it's so popular with the young people. appreciate it because I could very well get lost and not make it back to my uh, flight which leaves in approximately six hours but I think it's found this alley here somewhere oh wow look chopsticks <laughs> these are all handmade chopsticks in Japan she said that this is a good ramen chopstick ありがとう。ありがとうございます。うわ。こんにちは。ナチュラリスティック。カバー。うん。ありがとうございます。Thank you. Thank 
That was a fancy little shop. I just spent $60 in car fresheners. $60. I've never spent that much money on air fresheners in my life. And uh, got a pair of chopsticks for 12 bucks. I'm gonna be eating 100 bowls of ramen, so they'll come in handy. I'm making my way to Shibuya Station and I'll be flying out of Japan in about four hours. Well, I got both. How do you get that? Mm. And uh, I just stopped in a random ramen restaurant here. I I'm not even sure what it's called or exactly where it's located. I try and find it. If I do, I'll, I'll pin it. But here it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful bowl. Like basic, looks like a soy, soy sauce ramen. Nice layer of fat on top there. Interesting. I see little, it's thin first of all, which is unusual for a shoyu ramen, and I see little specks of wheat. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that fat content is off the charts right there. My lips are nice and... Mm. My lips are nice and coated in that fat. That totally hit the spot. Uh, that just goes to show you that there are tons and tons of really great ramen shops. And hold on a second, I have a smudge here. I hate that. Anyway, um, just goes to show you, you don't need a ramen guidebook to find great ramen shops. They're literally all over the place in Japan. You just have to follow your nose or look for the lines. Or just honestly just take a right or a left right into a ramen shop. It's a high likelihood that it's probably going to be pretty good. Alright, I got to make a beeline for the train station. Uh, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment. Let me know if you're enjoying this ramen series and I'll catch you in the next one.